If you look at this vehicle, look very closely. This is a 2005 Porsche Carrera GT. Extremely rare. This cost $450,000. Only about 1,300 of them exist on the road. Some are made in 2004. This was in 2005. Very difficult for us to find. Very difficult to track down a driver. And we got a very rare opportunity to give it a spin. <laughs> Riding in a Porsche Carrera GT is simply visceral. You're so low to the ground. <laughs> I'm at once exhilarated and carsick. It's like flying on the road, and it is terrifying, but strangely fun. So we're going out for a bit of a joy ride. <laughs> I'm the lucky passenger in Michael Weinreb's Porsche. He's an attorney by day, amateur driver by night, one of the few owners of the nearly 1,300 2005 Carrera GTs ever made. It's more the zero to 100 time that's more impressive, which is under seven seconds. The steering on this car is so tight and responsive. There's almost nothing like it in terms of road feel. Top speed 208 miles per hour. Weinreb supercar has been souped up from 612 horsepower to 660. Is it easy to do something stupid? You know it is because it's just having so much power under your your foot that um, you know that things can happen. There can be a loss of control. Weinreb doesn't know what happened in actor Paul Walker's car crash. Being the owner of the exact same vehicle, he guesses it might be this. A cold car, cold tires, not racetrack conditions. A supercar pushed too hard. In some respects, are you afraid of this car? Uh, yeah, you really have to be with this car with all the power it has. Um, you, you have to be reserved and restrain yourself. I mean, it's, it's like kind of... Uh, taming a wild animal and so if you were taming a wild animal you'd be afraid of it so you have to be afraid of it to really be safe in the car now as far as what all of these owners are thinking about what might have happened a lot of it is speculation but being one of these rare owners they have rare insight they believe that because he left the charity event and the crash happened such a short time later that it may have been a supercar on a cold road cold tires and it simply may have not been in the right conditions but again the investigation still underway still trying to figure out exactly what caused this crash